I'm in prison. I really did do that. That's what I did. That's why I'm here. I'm a murderer of my own children. And God did not tell me to do it. My own damn husband lied to me for money and sex. And to glorify his damn self. And they would have gotten away with it if they, one, had not gotten married so fast and ran off from the police. As soon as the police came over, they took off the same day, got on a plane. That's dumb. But see, they think they're untouchable. I wonder if they still think that. Because they're both still trying to say they don't need to be there. We, we need, we have emotions to dismiss us, you know, we don't need to be here. What? <laughs> Who needs to be there then? Well, I think a couple more people need to be there, but they've gotten immunity. If he had this all organized, I think first he had planned to use, I mean, there's got to be a special place in hell when you will take people's money and put fear in them and tell them bullshit that's not true. I mean, for all you know, they sit at home trying to make a damn portal or thinking they are. All kinds of stuff. Because I heard that she got people that basically almost worship her. I mean, $500 to go see her? She needs to pay me to go see her. Because damn. Outfit changes? Nine hours? No. I don't want to see your knees. She had an email called Bigfoot.com. Something like that. I was like, oh my God, because she, you know, they believe Cain is Bigfoot because he's been walking on the earth so long that he's got hair all over his body. What? No. I mean, you believe in Bigfoot? Really? And that Cain's still alive? God never killed him. But I'm sure he's dead. Oh. <sighs> And I mean, if there was a person that God should kill, it, you know, he was probably one of them because he killed his brother. He just said, I'm going to let you roam the land. He let him go. But I guess he didn't stay with him. But no, he's not still here, dumbass. I'm still embarrassed by my videos, but I think I'm getting a little better. Talking about the airplane here. And remember I said that I found Alex Cox was a... Alex Cox, I'm sorry. But not means. Means is like, oh, nope, oh, like those fish that'll just bite at anything, guts and stuff. He's like, oh. he's just hook, line, and sinker. Their little monkey. He's a little dancing monkey. For those people that just got sued and have to pay twelve million for defamation, and it says Melanie's ex attorney. I hope it's Summer Shillett's ex attorney too, of her and Ian where I think they had to drug in a little bit to just lay back. I'm not sure. But, you know, she sat up. And you can tell she she got something on him. She got some, He got some shit on her. And sent it to the right people, too. That just, I love it. I'd hide my kids, too, like Brandon did. And she said, he ran off with my kids and didn't tell me where he was. What? You abandoned them, you heifer. In the middle of the damn night and moved 16 hours away. <sighs> And then we get the document soon after about how you're talking about how Alex is going to take care of some of your kids, um, Lori's kids, their zombies, all kinds of crazy shit you wrote in, that you told your husband the night of y'all's honeymoon. Poor damn thing. I bet y'all didn't even consummate the marriage. I bet you he didn't want to because damn hiding but her attorney Garrett Smith stopped the interview a couple of times and and then she went back on and she was like no I didn't think any of that was really real or true I don't believe that bullshit because Chad and Lori believe it and they told you and you believed it because you're a simpleton you're a simpleton you just give them your money like take my money I don't care if it's for trafficking or drugs I'm okay with that as long as I'm gonna be one of the 144,000 with you too Ugh. That's why Chad had to get certain people to leave their husbands because they were simple, but the husbands would have been like, oh, hell no, we're not doing this bullshit. You're not doing it. You're not doing it. Chad and Lori, I mean, literally move away and join them. Who does that? Cults do it when they're following Elias' friend. 
we have a lot of members looking into another group who claim to have the true priesthood and authority. And Julie says he has no business doing that. This is kind of like the police in Arizona. Um, it'll pass. Just let it pass. We don't need to look into that. No, no. He just killed somebody, but it's all right. It's his gun. He said so. <laughs> Looks like a mosquito bit him on his damn head. Not a bat. And he'd have been the one dead if Charles hit him. But Charles is not an angry, violent person. We know that. There's no history of it. Like Alex has a history of it. People are drawn in because these individuals are very active in church and well-versed in scripture. I have listened to them and they have our scriptures to back their claims, which is number one problem. Y'all's scriptures. But one damn thing, they're not scriptures, okay? I guess you can call them whatever you want. And they make it sound like they're trying to save people. So they have to go into the church to get the, the elect, the ones chosen to be part of their 144 bullshit thousand. Don't start asking questions and then some of them are like, uh, uh, no, I want to remain in this, in this little ball here that says I'm, I'm good. If I wear the underwear, I'm going to heaven. I got white skin, so I'm definitely going to the next planet. The hell ever. God would have never said that dark skin was evil and of Cain. He would have never said that. So that prophet, I just discredited him, Brigham. And they named schools after his dumb ass. And then now later, one of the presidents is like, well, you know, times change. And so God knows times change. God knows the future. You think he's going to say something like that? No, no. So Brigham Young ought to be counted as not a prophet. And that something's going on in that head of hers. Can you really read your dog's mind? I can't. I don't want to. He licks his privates all the time and he humps a stuffed animal. I don't need to know what he's thinking. Besides that, I eat hungry and gotta go poo. What else is there to know that he, she, I mean, she can look at her dog and he can tell her, scratch my belly. What? She needs to video that shit. I want to see it. She needs to bring him to her damn seminars and her talking tree. I don't like it. It's dangerous. Can't you see? This is dangerous. I'm not saying all Mormons are. Every Mormon I know is sweet as pie. You shouldn't live in fear of God or wearing the damn underwear. Or if you give enough money to them, you better give their money or they're going to damn send you a, a bill. You get a bill. You haven't paid this. What the frick? I'd be saying... I don't want to be a member of this church. God says to give this percent. I'm poor. I got to feed my family. I'll give this percent. And you don't bill me. You'd be glad I come to your damn church and pass your stupid message on.